Welcome back, this is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to write down a line as a column vector. First of all, you need to understand what the vector means. The top number on a vector will tell you if you're moving the point to the left or to the right. If the number at the top is negative, you move it to the left. If it's positive, you move it to the right. The bottom number of the vector will tell you whether you move the point down or up. If the number is negative, you move it down. If it's positive, you move it up. So let's have a look at example one. So we've got to represent this line as a column vector. So first of all, look at where the line starts and where it finishes. So we're starting at the top here, and we're going to finish here. So how do we get from this point, the start, to the finishing point? So first of all, we're going to count the amount of squares going across. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 8 squares to the right. And then we've got to see how many squares down or up it is. It'd be 1 square down. So it's 8 to the right and 1 square down. So to write this as a column vector then, so the number going across goes at the top, so it was 8 right, so that's positive 8, because it was to the right. Uh, the bottom number uh, goes here, so this was 1 down, so since it's down, we need to put minus 1. And that's our column vector for the line. So let's move on to example 2 then, so again, First look at where the line starts and where it finishes. So how do we get from here to here? So let's go across first of all. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 squares to the left and then 1, 2, 3, 3 squares up. So it's 4 left and 3 up. So we put the cross number at the top of the vector, so it's 4 left. So since it's left, we put minus 4. And the second number we put at the bottom of the vector, this one was 3 up. So this will be positive 3. And that's our column vector for the line. If you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.